Yeah, that's right, Gene. The Department of Corrections says there is a 51% vacancy rate for entry level correctional officers here in the state. Now, the Department of Corrections requested help from the National Guard to the state prison and the National Guard is providing 18 total soldiers and airmen for just 90 days for internal correctional control tower positions that have no contact with the prisoners. Now, the main goal for the DOC during this 90 day period is to hire more people and a spokesman says they've had 10 people show up for their physical training test recently, which is a good sign. Now, the National Guard was deployed twice during COVID to help, and they say they have the numbers and they're happy to assist. I think the last time was approximately six to nine months ago. A uh, smaller scope, less people were willing and able to support whatever the state needs of us. We have obviously spent a lot of time working on recruitment and retention and given the national economy and the state of the state and trying to attract employees, we're you know, having a hard time uh, bolstering our numbers. Now, the DOC commissioner went on to say that the pay isn't the same as other law enforcement positions, and that's why they're struggling to hire people. And they're hoping by March 20th to have the 18 National Guard members trained to their posts. Here in the newsroom, Troy Lynch, WMUR News 9.